Hey guys, Silent Cell here. Welcome back to the Utah Macross update video. Before we begin, I've got a bit of a um, serious talk with you guys regarding something uh, happening in my life. So if you guys have actually updated yourself with Instagram or even YouTube's community wall post um, and read the details, you probably know that I've actually recently um, been let go from my full-time job so yeah that means I'm out of a job for the time being I've technically uh, got to find something new quickly soon if possible so yeah I'm I'm okay um, I'm not too entirely disheartened um, in fact there's something positive that's going around even with such a, a negative outcome in my life um, apparently when I talked about um, how I've lost my job you know to my personal friends on Facebook and of course even on my Twitter um, which is mostly followed by Japanese um, within the Macross community so <laughs> um, a lot of people were kind of surprised at how positive I was looking at the, the scenario um, yeah even even if I've lost my job. Um, I'm still looking forward towards what is next in line. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty excited to see where I will end up going. Um, the doors are open. Um, even though it, right now we are living in the pandemic situation, and yes, technically it is kind of hard to get a very good job right now. Um, but you know, it means that other people out there who are opening the doors to new employees um, even though it may not pay well but at least the job opportunity is there for you to try out something new maybe get some new kinds of skills um, so to me that's exciting um, plus I get to meet new people uh, just like you guys who are watching me on YouTube or following me on Instagram and Facebook or even on Twitter um, I get to meet new friends, new people well, we don't get along with everyone but at least um, there will be a few and those few matter so <laughs> that's why I'm glad I put out a positive uh, outlook in this scenario and people are taking it for a very good positive outlook in their own personal lives so a few of the Japanese have actually commented on my post saying that they, they are glad um, that I'm showing a positive attitude in fact my positivity has kind of influenced them in their own personal life um, and some of them are even happy that uh, even though I am struggling with my own thing I'm also able to uh, show concern to their own uh, scenarios that they are going through so they, I feel like our bonds and our friendships have gotten a lot stronger uh, even though we are like kilometers apart <laughs> because we're all in different countries but you know our bonds keep us close together and of course social media allows us to do that so guys um, I just need to ask you of one thing if you've read my Instagram and community wall posts you probably would know this by now in fact I've been asking for it for a very long time um, and yes I, I just need you guys to you know help me out with my YouTube channel um, watch all the videos I have on the channel you know and of course watch through them entirely don't, don't skip through the videos and all that kind of stuff leaving a like, share and subscribing of course is also important to any YouTuber out there aside from the view count um, and of course the view duration which is technically the most important thing so yeah subscriber count, view duration um, that's always the main two things that are important for any YouTuber out there so guys I just need to ask you of this and from the bottom of my heart you know um, and of course thank you if you did and are still doing it or you are new to it and you are going to do it I really appreciate you guys for all you've done you know so anyways uh, with all the moody stuff aside let's talk about what we need to talk about which is this brand new 
uh, well, technically, <laughs> not exactly new, but reappearing Macross Frontier Memorial missions. Um, so these missions actually appeared two days ago, um, but there were a few ground breaking bugs that happened, and Dana, the um, the company that is creating this game, uh, had to pull it out of the game because the bugs were um, extremely affecting the game. Technically, mainly because um, people were able to exchange the items within the Chaos Exchange using the tickets that was given in this uh, missions. As you can tell, they give you you know, Macross Frontier Live Memorial tickets. And uh, yeah, when you gain these tickets, you can actually head over to the Chaos Exchange page. Let's go take a look there first before I explain what the missions are. So if you go to the Chaos Exchange, of course, there is the exchange period, which is basically up to the 5th of December. So we've got technically quite a few days to do so. Um, and yeah, and there is an exclusive episode played here. Of course, it shows Ranka in the pre-evolved version. But of course, once you've evolved it, I'm sure most of you guys will probably recognize the the, the image illustration. It's it's the key visual for Macross Frontier Galaxy Live 2021 Revenge version. So yes, it's the one with Cheryl and Ranka um, side by side. You know, with their arms pointing outwards. So yeah, so let's take a look at this episode plate. First thing you'll take note of is, of course, it can be used by any diva, which is excellent. So most of the time, all the episode plates were, that were given through events such as this ones are usually the same. It can be used by anyone, which is fantastic. I, I actually would have expected this one to be like only exclusive to Cheryl and Ranka, but you know, they're being generous right here. Um, of course, we are not getting the full total score because the episode play is only at level 1. So, I'm expecting this play to be around the 3600 range in total score without the plus 25 luck value. So, it is going to be a pretty decent episode play. Most of the event episode plays that have been coming out recently have been pretty good. So yeah, center skill, it is technically at an A rank right now because the plate is not fully evolved. It might get an S rank center skill. So when it's used on the Love series, which is the pink element type um, songs, units total is boosted by whatever percent that is there. So I expect it to get a lot higher once the plate is fully evolved. Um, so yeah. Active skill, so life recovery at 15%, maybe it might double, so it's that 30% range which is not the best we've seen, but who knows, we could dream it could reach that 50% in recovery, which is always the optimal one. Um, life skill, combo bonus, so um, definitely, definitely combo bonus is going to help you out um, in the long term, especially for songs that are um, slow. With not many notes around and easy to play and they are long in duration you know that kind of stuff like the last event we had um yeah that was one of the songs that really up, um made use of the combo bonus skill to give you a very good high score and yeah sadly to say this event at this play doesn't come with special notes but it's fine it is technically a free episode plate um you know that is if you can actually get that 35 copies of the memorial tickets and do take note there are seven copies available um, to redeem so if you pull out your calculator let me pull out my calculator on my desktop and let's just do some math so three times seven everyone knows is 21 so that's 210 tickets then seven times three that's 35 so 245 tickets is needed to pull all seven copies which is gonna give you that plus five luck value and it's gonna allow you to kirafi this episode plate if you wish to then of course there are other important items um, you know to technically um, exchange for so 35 tickets to exchange for a single secret stone which is pretty rare as well five star guarantee service gacha tickets mm, it's I guess it's essential but you know the first two are definitely the more important ones that's why they place them in this order because 
you know, the more important items are usually at the top. <laughs> which is very nice of Dana to tell you um, which one is more important this way. And then of course we have the other important stuff which is the large episode ops which can be used to unlock costumes. Um, you know, if you're just lacking in points to unlock them. Um, so yeah, the rest of them are pretty mediocre. Uh, especially this one, the tiny luck stone that is really not needed. As you can tell the quantity that I have on hand, it is not needed at all. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, let's dive back into the mission page. I'm going to explain what you guys need to do, then that settles it for this video. So let's dive into the mission page. But of course, take a look. We, at this point in time that I'm recording, it's technically just 18 minutes away before the server resets. So... Technically, there is only 14 more days for you to settle all the missions that are available. Um, it may not be the full set of missions um, because after clearing some of them, maybe they might add a few more. So just have to pay attention to the generic um, you know, request of all the missions. So up to this one, which is the one with the 30 counts, play or rather clear any Macross Frontier song. So you technically can use skip tickets to get this done, uh, which is not a problem. Then of course this one's let's move all the way down to the largest number. Okay, this one requires you to full combo any normal or tougher difficulty Macross Frontier song um, 10 times and you're good I guess. So let's take a look. We have uh, clear Lion, so basically play the song Lion. Um, then of course there's one that's full combo Lion, normal difficulty or harder. Then we got Northern Cross. Then of course we've got um, the full combo requirement for Northern Cross as well. So yeah, there is no daily missions for these yet. They might include them in the future. Who knows? After all, the um, event is kind of a long period, so. Um, technically anything can happen but if there is an update I will definitely inform you guys um, either through Instagram or the community wall or here on YouTube make sure you subscribe make sure you follow me on Instagram um, you know and keep yourself up to date so yeah anyways this is all we have to talk about for the Macross Frontier Memorial missions um, there is one other thing we need to talk about, which is within the gacha page. No, I'm not going to do gacha pools this video. <laughs> this is not a gacha video. But it's regarding this, um, the Nyan Nyan costume step up gacha. So it's featuring Walkure's two costumes. Of course, we are, um, you know, familiar with this set of costumes that was worn by the Seiyus themselves, the singers, uh, including Juna, um, during Walkure's third life. So yeah, if you've yet to attain any of these costumes, this Step Up Gacha is definitely going to help you out. Why? Mainly because of the pool format. So there are a total of 5 steps, and each step guarantees you the episode play. <laughs> so if you've actually got the Singing Stones, uh, that's technically 1,000... Um, no, 2,500 Singing Stones for each of the Gacha. Yes, both gachas are technically the same thing. They all guarantee you the episode play for each step. Uh, Arena fans are going to have to suffer through the entire 2,500 singing stones. So that's 5,000 singing stones in total if you're going to pull the, um, both banners. Uh, if you're Freya fans, I, I guess you're the luckiest. Um, you just have to sacrifice 1,000 singing stones to get your waifus both episode plates. Um, but okay, the funny thing is, right, the banners here, if you look at, take a look at all the episode play images, both of them are missing, missing Freya's information. So you can't see Freya's episode play details, especially if you want to check out if they have special notes attached to them. So as you can tell, um, Kaname, Mikumo, Reina, and Makina doesn't have special notes attached to them. Um, Freya is likely to be the same for this particular costume, but however, for this one, um, this one is from the Macross crossover live key visual, so the only Valkyrie member that actually has a special note attached for this plate series 
it's Kanami. <laughs> so yes, if you guys don't know what this plate does, it's actually the healing note. So it will produce more healing notes, so it will help out with the technically the current event as well. Um, so yeah, as, as like I said, you can't see Freya's information here, so that's kind of a strange thing. Maybe because there's a limited amount of picture slots available through their programming, so that's why Freya is kind of left out. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if you're looking to pull out Kaname's episode plate because of the special notes attached to it, you technically just have to sacrifice a thousand five hundred singing stones. So yeah, it seems like Makina and Reina fans are the ones to suffer this time round. Um, but I guess that's fine considering that uh, Makina and Reina were the only ones that were pretty lucky to get their noble costumes, the ones that recently released as non 7 star episode plates so you know it balance out the fairness and unfairness <laughs> so anyways guys that's it uh, that's all I've got for you guys so as usual thank you guys so much for the continuous support and I appreciate it if you are going to support me further um, you know by sharing you know my content with your other um, friends who are interested in Macross, you know, and you want them to play the game, that kind of stuff, you know, it helps me out a lot. I would definitely love to finally make my YouTube channel a full-time thing in the future, you know, so I don't have to worry so much <laughs> about losing my job. So, anyway guys, thank you guys so much, do the usual nice stuff, like, share, subscribe, you know, follow me on Instagram, here on YouTube, you know, and Support me in the best of your abilities. Until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!